Hi, I'm Patty Fentner, and I am going to show you how to make fish wind socks just out of your everyday toilet paper rolls, which we all have a lot of right now, don't we? First, I'll go over the things that you need uh, to make this craft, and it, it's very versatile, so you don't have to have exactly what I have. You need some sort of toilet paper rolls, but truth be told, one of mine I made with a paper towel roll and I just cut it up. So you can do that too, size doesn't matter. It's all about um, how you want your end product to look. So we're going to take some kind of construction paper or um, this is colored card stock, card stock. There is um, a wide variety of things you can do. You don't have to even have construction paper. If you have markers, paint, um, glitter, chalk, anything like that, you can decorate your toilet paper roll. You can use glue, glue sticks, staplers, that works, um, to attach your uh, decorations to the roll. And there is no limit to how you decorate it. Um, mine look like fish. You can make yours look like something else. Wind socks can be owls. They can be um, fish. They can be birds, whatever their heart desires. So the first thing we'll do is take a toilet paper roll or more than one if you feel like you want to attack more than one uh, wind sock and decorate it. Through the magic of television, as they always say on the cooking shows, I decorated one ahead of time um, just because I wanted to save time. If you wanted to do one like mine, um, what I did was I took a piece of my cardstock. Like I said, you can use construction paper or tissue paper, or you could already have decorated it just with markers and paint. Markers or paint. I took a piece of paper this big, as I wrapped it around the toilet paper roll, I simply marked off how much I needed. They're all different, I found out too. Toilet paper rolls are not all created equal. So I just marked off how much I needed, and then attach it with glue or staples or tape. You can use tape. Um, and I'm just going to, again, in the interest of time, I'm going to use a stapler. Now remember, mine were decorated first. Like if you were going to do something really um, intricate on your card stock, if you chose to go the, the colored paper route, then do the decorating first and then attach it to your toilet paper roll. I then took a different color, same thing, wrapped it around to see how much I needed, decorated it first, and then attached it. Okay, so I, my two part, um, two color part one ended up looking like this. And again, you don't have to have staples. I'm just doing it for the interest of time. Okay, so once I've done that, then I've attached my fins, my little fins. I happen to have two different colors here just for fun. And there it is with the two little fins. I've drawn the eyes on white cardstock. My preference would be Google Eyes, but I found out that my grandkids use them all up. So I just drew mine, but if I were you, I would get Google Eyes. I think they're the best. You can always use a package of Google Eyes. And just cut them out. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I obviously freehanded these eyes, placed them 
on your fish. I think it's better to glue these. I actually glued the ones on my fish up here because who wants that big old staple in the middle? And if you're wondering about this stapler, this is a scrapbook stapler that I got by uh, Jim Holtz. And um, the staples are real tiny. They come in a box like this. There. So they work well for art projects. We don't need all that metal showing. It doesn't have to be that way, but I kind of like them. Okay, so let's pretend that this is all decorated like this one. And I've got um, all my pieces in place. I've glued them preferably. And now what I need to do is I need to poke some holes in the side. This is the part I don't like to do because it doesn't always work very well. Um, I would recommend a hole punch. I have this punch, but it didn't punch through for me. Um, but I would recommend a hole punch or an owl, A-W-L. Um, those work well. You can just sort of put one hole on each side of the toilet paper hole. There. there we go. Okay, see the holes? Okay, now you can take ribbon, you can take yarn, whatever floats your boat, and just put it in there. Tie a double knot. I think the ribbon looks kind of cute. I used yarn on the other ones. And I think if you used a color yarn, that'd be cute too. This is just so you can hang it from something and let the wind blow on it. So I wouldn't recommend leaving them outside in this rainy weather we've been having. There we go. So it hangs like this, okay? Now, this is probably the trickiest part. It's not that it's hard, it's just that um, it takes a little bit of fine muscle control. So. I took tape. Again, you can glue. Um, I don't know how many staples you want to show in this, so I don't know if I would staple for you. But I have glue. This is just a piece of tape. It's actually shipping tape, but any kind of tape will work. And I'm taking different colored ribbon This is the tricky part, but it's also the cool part. It, it's the most fun to look at, I think, when it's done. And what I'm doing is I'm creating the wind part. So this is the part that will blow around and make your windsock look pretty. You're going to measure the, the ribbons to any size you want, but you, you kind of want them to all be the same length. Now, what I found is you need to do this, ex at least with this size tape, you need to do it three times. I just tucked it in here and pressed it down, pressed it down. and did it three times around, and that's your, your tail, okay? Okay, so I did that three times, because that is the uh, diameter of this toilet paper roll. And there you go. Almost looks like a jellyfish, doesn't it? Now I need a pole. 
I've taken different kinds of doll rods that I had in my art room and uh, used them. And for this one, I'm going to use chopsticks. I pulled them apart and I'm just going to take this and take a piece of tape or you can glue it. Wrap it around. And you've got a windsock. Okay, um, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, there are lots of other things you can do with toilet paper rolls. When I did a Google search, I found um, binoculars for kids. And I found cacti, and I found a dinosaur. I mean, it, the the uh, options are endless, and you just do a good Google search, and you'll you'll find other ones. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did come to the art center and pick up a kit to make these, then you should have all the right supplies, except for the um, the paper. And I I hope you really liked it. Enjoy this time with your kids. Enjoy making toilet paper roll art. <laughs> Once you're done with your fish windsock, I hope that you'll tune in to all of the other activities, virtual and live, that we have going on Super Sad Art Day at the Anton Art Center. Anton is a wonderful place. It's uh, just a jewel in Mount Clemens. And when the time is right, socially, we hope that you'll also come and visit our beautiful little gallery and take classes, okay? Thank you. The Anton Art Center would like to thank the following businesses and organizations for their financial support of Super Saturday activities. Presenting sponsor, First State Bank. Supporting sponsor, Consumers Energy. The Michigan Humanities Council. The Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs the Kresge Foundation, the Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan, and the National Endowment for the Arts. We would also like to thank our partners, the Discovery Center, the Detroit Institute of Arts, and the Metropolitan Detroit Corral. Learn more about the Anton Art Center and our partners at www.theartcenter.org and make a donation to support our mission to enrich and inspire people of all ages through the arts.